We'll take you live to Perth now. The WA Premier, Mark McGowan, is the Treasurer as well. He's delivering the state budget. Emergency Department support package is underway. And that, that includes at least 50 additional staff, better triaging of patients in ambulances and targeted measures to boost capacity at the Perth Children's Hospital. WA Health has employed a record number of staff since the start of the pandemic. Despite this, like other states, the supply of healthcare workers is not keeping up with demand. The budget includes specific measures to attract more healthcare workers, including hiring more graduate nurses, as well as local, national and international recruitment campaigns. In addition, sorry, an additional $311 million is being invested in community-based mental health services. These services are designed to treat people in more appropriate settings, reducing pressure on our hospitals and emergency departments. The increased funding includes $130 million specifically to enhance services for youth mental health. The 2021-22 budget allocates $3.1 billion to expand our health system. $1.3 billion of that is invested over coming years to improve health infrastructure, with major redevelopments and expansions of hospitals underway across metro and regional Western Australia. These upgrades will add... The WA Premier there on the health boost from the budget. It sounds like they need it too in WA. Let's get some analysis. Ashley Gillen joins me live from Perth now. First of all, Ash McGowan isn't just content with being the Premier, he's also the state's treasurer. He's delivered a whopper of a surplus for his first budget. He certainly has, yeah. He took over the role at the last election when his treasurer, Ben Wyatt, retired from politics. And you're right, he's delivered this $5.6 billion surplus today. It's all thanks to iron ore royalties, really. They came into the tune of around $11.3 billion. So... Uh, all thanks, really, to the demand we've seen from China for that commodity. So it, it really was a huge windfall there. It did see iron ore averaging around $149 a tonne, which is much higher than had been forecast in the last budget. Also, extra GST funds flowing through, too, from that GST floor deal with the Commonwealth that was struck back in 2018. So that helped to contribute to what is the state's biggest ever budget surplus. It is something you would expect that other state premiers might have a bit to say about over the coming days. Some certainly think this arrangement is far too generous for WA. There's not many uh, governments around the world, I, I wouldn't have thought at this point in the middle of a pandemic, able to return these sorts of budget surpluses. It, it is certainly true this is the biggest ever by a long shot as well. The, the previous record was about $2.3 billion, and that was back in 2007 when it really was boom time here in WA. So all about iron ore, again, highlighting just how important it has been through the pandemic to keep that resources sector here in WA going. Uh, unfortunately, there's no expectation that this is going to last for too much longer. It is expected, and we can see the forecasts in this budget, that the iron ore price will drop back to an average around $66 a, a tonne. When you look at what he's spent it on, well, the lockups only just ended, so we're just going through all the fine print, but we do know infrastructure, and as you mentioned, healthcare has been a real priority for this budget. Um, we've had very few COVID cases throughout the pandemic here in WA, but as you alluded to, Kieran, the hospital system has been at a serious serious pressure even without COVID cases. We have a lack of hospital beds and a serious lack of staff. So among the big ticket items, mm. there's a couple of billion dollars for the health system, a billion dollars as well to other COVID health resources, almost $2 billion for a new women and babies hospital in there as well, around $30 billion going to, towards infrastructure. So yeah, Mark McGowan delivering his first budget and uh, doing it with that big surplus.